Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel. In this video we will discuss, VMware backup options, and run VM streaming backup. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. In our previous videos, we discussed how to configure, VMware vCenter, for VM backups. In this video, we will discuss available backup options, and, start a streaming backup and discuss about it. We will discuss IntelliSnap backup, in our next video. Let's start with streaming backup. Please note, IntelliSnap option is not enabled on the client level. Right click on the sub client. We have already discussed these options in our other videos. Select backup. Backup options for sub client. You can run full, incremental, differential, and synthetic full backup for this sub client. By default, incremental is selected, let's select full. Click advanced. Advanced backup options. Startup tab. Priority, is the job priority. You can use default priority, of 161, or, change the priority of a job between 0, highest priority, and 999, lowest priority. Startup in suspended state, helps to start the job in the job controller, in a suspended state. Please note, the job will not run, until it is resumed manually. Job retry tab. Enable total running time, is the maximum elapsed time in hours, and minutes, from the time that the job is started. When the specified maximum elapsed time is reached, if the job is in the running state, it will continue, but if the job is not in the running state, then the job manager will kill the job. Kill running jobs when total running time expires, will kill the job, when the specified total running time has elapsed, even if its state is running. Number of resubmits on job failure, is the number of times, the job manager will attempt to resubmit a failed job, with a new job ID. After the maximum number of resubmit attempts has been reached, if the job still fails, the job manager will stop resubmitting the job. Enable number of retries, is the number of times, that job manager will attempt to restart the job, before killing it. Media tab. Start new media, starts the backup on a new media, ignoring the available appendable media on tape library. For disk library it creates a new volume folder. Media full on success. Once the job completes successfully, this option marks media full, two minutes after the completion of the backup operation. If any jobs are initiated within the two minutes, they are allowed to write to the media. Allow other schedule to use media set allows jobs that are part of a schedule policy, or schedule, using the same storage policy, to start a new media, and also prevent other jobs from writing to the set of media. Example, when one scheduled job initiates several jobs, and you only want to start new media on the first job. Job retention. Storage policy default, applies the retention rules of the associated storage policy, which is the default option. Infinite is to retain this job indefinitely. For end days, prunes the job after the specified number of days. Make sure that the value you specify is greater than the storage policy. Retention applicable on the copies in the storage policy, that is, the primary storage policy copy, or all the storage policy copies in the storage policy, or select copies. Select the copies, from the list of copies that appear below. Data Path tab. If you want the backup, to run via a specific media agent, and library, other than the default one, then select the desired one from the list. Vault Tracking tab. This section helps to export tape media using Vault Tracker. If you are using tape library for backup copy, then you can configure Vault Tracking. Alert tab. You can configure alert for this sub-client. Use alert window to view, add. Modify, Disable, and Delete Alert. Let's select Incremental, and check for Advanced Options. Data Tab. 
These options are applicable for streaming backups only, and not available for IntelliSnap backups. Backup failed VMs only, virtual server. Select this option, to backup failed virtual machines. If backup fails for one or more virtual machines from a sub-client, the backup job completes with status, completed with one or more errors. You can perform an incremental backup, to backup only the failed virtual machines. Include partially successful VMs from previous job. Choose this option, to include VMs, that completed with partial success. If the status for a specific virtual machine is partial success, some information for the VM was successfully backed up, but other information was not. Rest all tabs we have already discussed. Let's select differential, and check for advanced options. With differential backup selected, we do not see any new tab, or option to discuss. Lastly, select synthetic full, and click advanced. Data tab. Verify synthetic full. This option ensures, that files that have not backed up by incremental jobs, since the last full backup, are backed up by the next incremental. This is especially useful, if you run a conventional full backup, only once for a given sub-client, and then run incremental, or differential, backups, with periodic synthetic full backups after that, for an extended period of time. Let's run full backup. You can either run the job immediately, or schedule it to run at specific intervals. Save as script, allows you to save this operation, and the selected options as a script file, in XML format. The script can later be executed, from the command line interface, using Q operation execute command. When you save an operation as a script, each option in the dialog will have a corresponding XML parameter in the script file. When executing the script, you can modify the value for any of these XML parameters. Once done click OK. The backup job should be visible in the job controller. Double click the job, for backup job details window. Progress tab. This window provides information about, current phase of the job. Backup state, if running, suspended, etc. Job start time, that is, since when the job is running. And other information. General tab. Provides general information. The job ID. Type of backup. Job priority. Client name, and details related to the client. Storage policy being used by this backup. Media agent through which the backup is running and other information. Streams tab provides job streams used by this backup. Attempts tab shows the job phase, along with number of attempts taken, to finish respective phase. Job retention tab this tab shows, basic, and extended retention that his job would get, after completion. Events tab events associated with this job are found here. Virtual Machine Status tab. This tab provides information about virtual machines in a backup job, that is in progress, from job controller. For some hypervisors, this tab is named Instance Status, or Container Status. We will discuss details of each column in some time. We will fast forward video, until job completes. The VM backup completed. Let's discuss the columns. VM name, is the name of the virtual machine. The VM might belong to, Microsoft Azure, Azure Stack, Citrix Zen, Fusion Compute, Hyper-V, Nutanix AHV, Oracle VM, Red Hat Virtualization, or VMware. Host, is the host name for the machine, where the source virtual machine resides. Status. Shows the status of the backup for the VM, such as completed, pending, or failed. Failure reason. For failed backups, a brief description of the reason for the failure is displayed. Proxy. Displays the name of the VSA proxy, that performed the backup. Backup size. 
shows the amount of data backed up, after eliminating white spaces, data that was written, and deleted still counts as reserved, allocated, space. Backup start time. Displays the date and time that the backup of the VM began. Backup end time. Displays the date and time that the backup of the VM finished. VM size. Is the total space allocated for the virtual machine, calculated as the sum of the maximum disk sizes, for all the virtual machine's hard disks. VM size is usually larger than guest size, because, virtual machine disks are often thin provisioned. VMware tools. Displays whether VMware tools is installed, and running on the VM. Guest size. Is the actual space, used on the storage volume for the virtual machine. For Linux virtual machines, the guest size appears as zero. Powered off by current job. Displays whether the VM was powered off, for the backup job. Create snapshot duration. Is the interval between the time, when the vCenter received the create snapshot request, and the time when the vCenter responded, to indicate that the snapshot was created successfully. Delete snapshot duration. Is the interval between the time, when the vCenter received the delete snapshot request, and the time when the vCenter responded, to indicate that the snapshot was deleted successfully. Snapshot size. Is the size of the snapshot, that was taken for the VM, which includes the aggregated sizes of all Delta disk files, that are created while the backup was in progress. Operating system. Displays the operating system version for the VM. Transport mode. Is the transport mode used for jobs? CBT status. Displays whether changed block tracking was enabled for the job. Hardware version. Is the hardware version of the VM. Host version. Is the version of the ESX, or ESXi host. Data store. Is the data store where virtual machine files are stored. VM job ID. Is the job ID used to create VM snapshot, and differs from the backup job ID. Job type. Displays the type of job, whether it's full, incremental, differential, or synthetic full. Total virtual machines. Displays the total number of VMs in the backup job. Successful virtual machines. Displays the number of VMs that were successfully backed up. Skipped virtual machines. Displays the number of VMs that were skipped because they were not available for backup, at the time the job ran. Pending virtual machines. Displays the number of VMs, that have not yet been backed up for a job, that is in progress. Failed virtual machines. Displays the number of VMs, that could not be backed up during the job. Virtual machines partially successful. Displays the number of VMs, that were backed up with errors. Virtual machines in progress. Displays the number of VMs, that are currently being backed up, for a job that is in progress. For some reason events are not displayed. These are the streaming backup job phases. You can gather details like, library on which the backup made, media agent used, storage policy name, copy type, etc. Let's check backup history. Right click on the sub client, select backup history. Leave default selected, and click OK. VM streaming backup job is listed here, with status completed. You can browse and restore data from this job. Right click on the job. Select browse and restore. We will create a separate video, discussing these options and tabs. Let's review the backup job from storage policy. Expand policies. Expand storage policies. Select appropriate storage policy. We have primary and synchronous copies configured for this storage policy. Right click and select view jobs. You see the VM backup jobs are in to be copied status for this synchronous copy.
right click on the primary copy and select view jobs. You see the completed VM backups listed here. Let's review the job logs. Right click on the job, select view logs. Logs might take a while to load, so please be patient. VS Discovery Log. This is seen on the VSA proxy. We had one VM configured for backup for this sub-client, and it is successfully discovered for backup. Any failures during the VM discovery, is recorded in this log. VSPKP log. This is also seen on the VSA proxy. This log contains the VM backup information. Any failures during the VM backup, is recorded in this log. VIX disk lib log. This is also seen on the VSA proxy. This log contains the VM disk related information. Any failures accessing the disks for backup is recorded in this log. Scanning VSBKP log and highlighting some entries which are generally useful during troubleshooting backup issues. The other logs from Media Agent, ComServe, provide information about media used for backup, communication, and performance related information. We will end this video here. In our next video we will discuss IntelliSnap Backup. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.